offering is the truth. Nothing more. Good evening, everyone. Um, I've been getting a couple questions here lately about the Northern Hemisphere sky and the Southern Hemisphere sky. And a couple of those questions are this. If the Earth is flat, then when you look at the moon in the Northern Hemisphere, why is it upside down when you look at the moon from the Southern Hemisphere? And uh, I think the other question was the belt of Orion, that when you look at the belt of Orion from the Northern Hemisphere, why is it upside down when you look at it from the Southern Hemisphere? And they seem to think that that's only possible on a sphere. So, what I'm going to be demonstrating to you tonight is how that is possible on a flat earth. And first of all, well, the first thing I got to get straight is hemisphere stands for half of a sphere. So, that's just another word that they made up to fit their heliocentric model of the spinning ball. It's truly just the northern sky and the southern sky. Okay, now let's get to the point. Here, I have did a rough drawing of the belt of Orion. And on each side of the paper, uh, I've wrote north on one side and I've wrote uh, south on the other side. Okay, now on another piece of paper, I have done the same thing uh, with the moon. As you can see here, I've written the north on uh, one side of the moon and I've written south on the other side of it. Now, we're gonna use the center of the kitchen floor of the cabin here. Now, as you can see, it's not a sphere, it's a flat tile floor, and it's gonna represent our flat earth. Over here, this chair is the northern hemisphere. Over here, this chair is the southern hemisphere. Okay, now up here at this light on the ceiling, I have put the belt of Orion. As you can see, the north facing one chair and the south facing the other chair. Okay, now let's go over here and sit in the chair on the north while my daughter sits in the chair on the south. Okay, now let's look up at the sky and let's zoom in on the belt of Orion. Now, this is what the belt of Orion would look like from the so-called Northern Hemisphere. All right, now let's pan back out. Now we're gonna switch places with my daughter and go over here and see what she sees from the Southern Hemisphere. Let me get zoomed in here. And there you have it. Now the belt of Orion is upside down. And all I did was walk from one side of the flat floor to the other side of the flat floor. And just so you know, I'm not doing any camera tricks here. Let me get up and go back and forth to show you. There's one side, the south side I was sitting on. All right, now let's go over here to the north side. And as you can see, the belt of Orion is totally upside down from one side to the other. And all you're simply doing is going from one side of the room to the other. Now let's do the same thing with the moon. Put my daughter back over here and here's the Northern chair and the Southern chair. And up here I have put the moon. As you can see, the North is facing one chair and the South is facing the other chair. Okay, now I'm gonna go back over here and set in the Northern chair. Now let's get zoomed in up here. Okay, now let's say we're looking at the face in the moon from North America. Take a good look at it. Now let's pan back out. I'm gonna get up, walk over here and switch places with my daughter in Australia. Now let's zoom in and see what we see. Huh, imagine that. Now the face in the moon is upside down from what it looked like from the northern side of the room. Now let me get up and show you that just like I did the belt of Orion so you know it's not camera tricks. Like I said, here's the face of the moon from North America. And when we go to South America, it's upside down. It's really, really simple. And as you can see, as I just proved, you do not have to have a sphere 
to see it in the opposite direction. Now, if there's some globers that still don't understand that, like I always say, hey, go back to school, get your crayons, and start over again because it's really, really simple. Anyways, there you have it, guys. Everyone, thanks for watching. Have a good night, and God bless. All I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more.